Good morning, good morning. Probably still have eye boogies. Ugh. Woke up at about six today. We had the cats sleep in the trailer last night. The kids were begging and begging. So we had them in there and they were like kneeing at me at about six o'clock. I was like, gosh dang it, get off me cat, get off me. I know you're hungry, you want a can, get off me. So needless to say, I got up and then I heard some machinery going. It's supposed to be beautiful this week. So they are out here hitting it already. They've been out here for probably about like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I think they're just starting up all the machines, pulling in. that they're coming up because they're gonna push it all in and they're adding more rock too. This is gonna be interesting. I had fun in my truck. <laughs> yeah, more rock. A little boost. He's like right on that tree. <laughs> he's on like, he's right next to that tree. Let me see. You're... You're good. He's close, boy. He's good. Happy boy. Or I'm happy that he's coming through and doing it because that thing's like 60,000 pounds. So I was gonna push all this rock in and make it really good. Yeah! <laughs> man, I walk, I'm just walking on his tire tracks right there, man. Holy moly. It is uh, compacted like a mother. So that's really nice. That makes me happy. And he's gonna dress it all up, make it look nice, so. The beginning, where it's a, a slipping and sliding. Which I'm glad I got these guys doing it because they know what they're doing. And they're gonna make this road really not doing this to us. <laughs> but they get to have fun and get, uh, get some mud going. Heck yeah. That's just awesome. I love love seeing teamwork going. I'm gonna have to move these trucks because I'm thinking I'm gonna get this guy out. Make this a little bit flat in a sense. Nothing too crazy. Oh yeah. I think he might take out the branches that I need to. That rock. It's a lot of it too, which we need a lot of it in these areas. I like it. Heck yes, and he'll be able to play around with this and get it spread around for us before they come up with another one. 
But yep, yeah, they're gonna need, uh, we're gonna probably need that seventh load like I was thinking. Maybe, maybe another. Cause <laughs> this guy's, this guy is uh, definitely gonna be fun for this. So he'll come around, dress it back up. We're gonna need a lot more throughout here, which he plans on putting more down. But it's nice because I'm walking on this. It looks muddy like no tomorrow, but it's not too bad because it's all rock and the mud. But once we dry, get it all set up, it'll be nice. And this crap right here, it's all hard. I mean, it's a little muddy, but it's literally, this crap is compacted in there like no tomorrow. It's really in there, man. We'll drive on this. He's going to dress everything up, like I said. Once it's all done, crown it. Took out some of those branches already for us. I'll come back up and fix it with the chainsaw. So, there's that. And yeah, it's going to be good. We've got all this going over here. I think Melanie is going to try to start a fire and we haven't set up uh, everything just yet so it's a little rough. So precise. Yeah. Today, I'm pushing you out of the way. That's awesome. Yeah, I'd use that as parking. Yep, that's what I would do too. I'm gonna try to get, I'm pretty sure that we're all gonna be like in the same boat with that. Cause. Cause that would be perfect her mm -hmm. right there. And if you can position her awning to where it goes on one side of the tree, that mm -hmm. pine tree or the other. Yep. Then when she comes up, all she's gotta do is pull in right here and walk in her. Yep, yep. Well, we have been having the guys, as you guys know, hit it with this road work. We have got a lot done, and oh, yes. uh, I can't wait to show you guys. So we are standing right now in the very front entrance of our property. Oh, so yes. we got the quad with us. We're going to hop on there just because we've been walking so much, and we have a lot of physical stuff we got to do today, so we don't want to burn ourselves out too early. Not but uh, we're going to take a quick ride and show you guys all the work that they've done for us and talk to you guys about what is still left to do. Oh, so yes. let's go hop on that quad. Let's do it. All right. right there and uh, see the water flowing but we can't no mow the dirt has been raised quite a bit uh, Gary showed you in yesterday's video but they are still gonna be coming back and putting in some bigger rocks on the sides and stuff and we still have some finer rocks to get put in on this road as well uh, but they told us that the best time to do that would be over the summer after everything's dried out quite a bit um, in the meantime, this really big, thick rock should get smushed down into the dirt and the mud, make it really compacted for us, so that way any two-wheel drive vehicle can still be able to get up here. Yep, give you plenty of uh, traction to be able to get up, so it should be all golden now. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Ah, I got something in my eye. <laughs> Poor thing. 
bug or something. Ah. All right, so we're gonna keep going on up and showing you guys uh, the rest of it. obviously <laughs> but we got the fork in the road so the main driveway coming up is going to be going that way and then when we're coming down we can use this coming down and all this dirt and mud that you see basically that's all the rocks getting pushed in we had each truck come up here we had about seven truck loads of rock each one weighs about 80,000 pounds so it really pushed it in compacted it he dressed it up and all that stuff so this is going to be the fine like base itself that will hold everything together and in about two months time once it's not raining so much we'll be able to get the finer grade come through and that's going to be almost like asphalt in a sense once, once it's all said and done so, and all compacted in and, and all compacted so. in we'll be driving up and down this road before the country road here gets up here too so that way it's spread out and more uh good all the way around but this whole week not raining so it should really really uh compact a lot better this time around i'm excited guys so let's keep on going and show you guys the rest of it the loop around Look, 
rock just continues on. Now we're gonna go down the loop around. And the reason why we're gonna have this be the down is because it would be pretty steep to come up. Yeah. So. We'll be able to control what's going on. Adult I'm, quad. I'm used to riding a 450. Yeah. Doing that's... like 60. Ah! I used to have. Uh, we've been quad in and we've for been riding time. and stuff for 20 years, guys. You so. live in the desert and you don't quad. Something's wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> very, we've been doing this for a very long time. So, that's not to fun. say that accidents can't happen, but so now we got a lot of work to do. Um, we did do a lot of this grass seeding and stuff. Um, we don't see anything yet, but it's only been literally a day, so yeah, it give it some long. time. Hasn't been long at all. So mm -hmm. when we were at the store the other day, we did pick up another one of these <laughs> shades. I know Country Road Cure, they're going to be essentially parking their trailer where our horse trailer is and putting their awning out so our awnings are going to meet together. But we needed another shade and I know they have one too, so you can never have enough shade though guys and also blockage from the rain. We might end up putting that right here. Yeah. On the front side right here. Yeah. Since we're going to use that for parking over there. Mm -hmm. so we've got this other flat spot down here so we can park the flatbed trailer that he's got. We'll be able to park uh, the horse trailer down in the hole right over there. And then if he needs to, they can park right here as well. Yeah. Because that trailer isn't that big. No. We made sure to make plenty of spaces to park all of the vehicles and all of the things. Um, but now the big thing that's on our list now that this road is put in and it's good to go we got these areas leveled and flattened out the big yeah. thing that's on our list is we got to now empty the horse trailer because we got to get it ready to swirl around go to las vegas pick up country road cure come back help them unload that being said where are we going to put all of our stuff that's inside the horse trailer wait <laughs> over this way yeah this is so. what i'm thinking I'm thinking this over this way, you know. So you guys might have noticed in one of our other videos, we did buy another one of these portable garages from Harbor Freight. We got one right there and that's what we used for storage the first time around. So now we got two of those things. So we got this one. It is a gigantic mess. We have literally just thrown everything in there. It is not organized. It is a heap. But what we got to do is we got to set up our second one and we got to figure out where we're going to put it and then we got to organize both of them so yeah you guys ready for this mess pretty crazy pretty dirty i 
will say though, I'm very impressed with this uh, portable garage because after all the wind and the rain Ooh, and everything that we've it. had, um, it's held up very well. There's no rips, there's no leaks or anything like that in it. And we have all of this crap in there and it's been perfectly fine. So yeah. I'm very pleased with this portable garage building. So now here's the question, what do you want this garage to be and what do you want that garage to be over that way? Well, what do you want it to be? Where do you want your tools? That's the question. That's the question. So after further discussion, because <laughs> we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants around here, we've decided where the storage tent is going to go. Uh, but the kids are chomping at the bit to have their play tent set back up now that things are leveled out. So we are going to take care of that for the kids first. So that way they can have a place to uh, play for the meantime, real quick like. So we're gonna set them up probably right there. Set them up right there. So, you gonna get it? Yeah, we're gonna get her. So now that the kids are set up with their uh, play tent behind us and we've already conversed and decided where we're going to be setting up our next storage tent, uh, we're going to get it. Oh yeah. So what we're going to do, we're walking you guys over here. We're going to be setting up the storage tents. We have one. Country Road Cure has one. I think they're going to get a second one as well. Yeah. But we're going to put them right here in this area. And so. actually it will be really nice because we'll actually be able to pull through and actually unload everything and just put it in. Yeah. And then we can drive down the hill, turn around and come back up. Yeah, so, so that's that's our plan. So it's almost time for us to go live here in a little bit. So we got to get to work. Yeah, we got a lot to do. So <sighs> right. let's get it. Let's hit it.
guys, well, we got our second storage tent kind of built and ready to go. Oh, yes. So now what we got to do is we got to unload and organize the storage tent that we already have up. We're going to make that one be your tool shed. Yeah, I'll yeah. make that one my tool shed and my garage area. And then this one right here will be our storage for food and whatever else we have. Yeah, just all the other toys. stuff that we're hanging on to until we finish building the house. You know, it's all going to go in here. Um, you guys might be wondering about the black mesh and how we have so much of it kind of just going out and about. Country Road Cure, when they get here, they are going to be putting up one of these bad boys right here possibly next to two. it. Yeah, possibly two. We wanted to make sure that they had enough of the flooring flooring for them as well so now what's left on the agenda for today is we are going to empty out that one organize everything and we're going to start emptying out the horse trailer because we're going to be going over to las vegas here really really soon, really, really soon. and we're going to be picking them up and we need that horse trailer empty so we can fill it up with all their stuff and they can get here so oh, yes so i hope you guys are ready for the ring around the rosy because again here it goes <laughs> let's do it <laughs> Ring around the rosy, up upon a toesy, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. <laughs> you guys are so cute. All right, guys, come on over here and let's get ready to move some stuff. Julia, are you going to be a big help? Uh, <laughs> you want to see my big long muscle? So while we get this going, I'm going to put you guys on another time lapse because this is going to take a while. All and the, uh, the magic of TV there. makes it go by a lot faster for you guys. So you ready? Uh, Here we go. My goodness guys we are freaking beat but check it out we got a lot of our stuff up in here we have not unloaded the horse trailer yet because it's taken like all day for us just to get to this point but check it out so this is like our uh, storage shed for all of my miscellaneous stuff I got my food storage over here I got some beds right there so that way when we have company there's a place for them to sleep. I got a cot on the floor, all of my crafting stuff, some of our home stuff that we're going to be keeping, blankets, etc. Christmas, holidays, um, some of my kitchen things all put away and nicely organized. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, today's work so far. Um, Gary and me are working on his tool shed portion right now. I'm not sure how much we're going to get done on this side though because everything is heavy and we've had to take it all out, organize it, go through it all, um, but we're making a lot of progress. I mean, this, all of this stuff, you guys, was crammed inside there. We showed you what it looked like before. We are making major progress, but uh, the sun is starting to set. It's already making its way down, so once it gets dark, we're not going to be able to finish out. So I think right now... Our MO is just get all of the stuff that really needs to be put inside that shed back in there. And uh, we're going to finish tackling it tomorrow. But we have made a lot of progress. I know it might not look like it, but I would consider having one completely basically done and then one per like pretty well organized. I mean, it might not look like it. It's organized clutter. But we got Gary's shelves up now, so he can start putting all of his tools and things away. Um, he's basically trying to make it so that way he's got a functional 
tool shed workshop. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're trying to do right now. So we're gonna keep on at it, man. We got a lot of stuff to move around, and I'm not looking forward to it. I know. Just too much crap. We've got basically today to finish out what we're working on. We have tomorrow. And that's basically it. And then we hit the road to go pick up Country Road Cure. So we're feeling the pressure right now. We're trying to get as much done as we can. But yeah, it's um, it's a lot. Sure.